going to find the area of each of these quadrilaterals. So first off, we have a square. Then we have a rectangle. And last but not least, we have a parallelogram. Now, we want to find the area for each of these, but the funny thing is, guys, guess what? The area for each of them, I made a separate paper for each one, but guess what? For all of them, area is base times height. Pretty easy to remember, right? Now, if you're like, okay, that makes sense for the square and the rectangle, but why does the parallelogram get to be that as well when it's slanted, right? Well, I want you to picture if we were to cut this right here, this little triangle, and put it there, guess what it would make? A rectangle, right? So just kind of rearrange. So it is also base times height. So let's start off with the square. Base times height is going to give me 20 times 20, which is going to end up being 400. Now, whenever we're doing area, we need to pay special close attention to our units. We are in yards, but not just yards. Because we're finding area, we are in yards squared. Now, the reason for that is because when we're figuring out area, in this case, we're in yards. So we're trying to figure out how many little squares that are one yard by one yard would fit inside of this square. Okay, that's why it is 400 yards squared. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this rectangle. Base times height is going to be 30 times 15. When I multiply those, I end up with 450 feet squared. Or a lot of times out in the real world, you'll hear square feet, right? Like when you hear people talk about their house, how many square feet it is, right? Same thing as feet squared. All right, last one, we have our parallelogram here, which is also going to be base 18 times height. Now, if you're looking here and you're like, oh wait, which one is height, right? <laughs> well, this one gives us the slant, which it's like, thank you for giving us that information, but we don't need it for the area. Remember that if I were to move this over here, it would be a rectangle and I would do base times that height, right? So we're going to do 18 times 11, which gives me 198 and we are in centimeters, and because it's area, it is centimeters squared. All right, I hope this helped. If you need some more area videos, I will link a whole playlist for you. Thanks.